In this brief presentation, I will try to present the major trials discussing the blood pressure targets in patients with acute stroke and go over the guidelines from major associations. In doing so, we'll discuss the evidence on blood pressure goals in intracerebral hemorrhage, acute stroke with no procedure or intervention, acute stroke with thrombolytic therapy, and acute stroke with thermectomy. In patients with intracerebral hemorrhage, several clinical trials focused on lowering blood pressure. The INTERACT-1 trial showed that intensive blood pressure lowering treatment was feasible and well-tolerated, and this formed the basis for the INTERACT-2 trial, which aimed to improve functional outcomes. While the intensive treatment did not result in a significant reduction in mortality and disability, it did lead to improved functional outcomes. The ATTACH-2 trial administered a standardized blood pressure lowering regimen but was stopped early due to futility, and the primary outcome measured by death or disability was not different between the intensive and standard treatment groups. Lastly, a trial conducted in India compared tight blood pressure control with conventional control and found no significant difference in the primary outcome measured by median modified Rankin scale. Based on these studies, it seems that lowering blood pressure intensively is advantageous and a target SBP range of 130 to 139 millimeter mercury is thought to be the most beneficial in cases of acute intracerebral hemorrhage. The American Heart Association and American Stroke Association suggest that for patients with ICH and an SBP between 150 to 220 millimeter mercury, and without any contraindications to acute blood pressure treatment, lowering the SBP to 140 millimeter mercury is advisable. On the other hand, in patients with acute ischemic stroke, the relationship between blood pressure and clinical outcomes is much more complicated compared to ICH. The intricacy of managing blood pressure in these settings primarily stems from the utilization of intravenous thrombolytic therapy and arterial mechanical thermectomy. Observational studies have shown that there is a J or U-shaped relationship between blood pressure and clinical outcomes in patients with acute ischemic stroke without revascularization with both high and low blood pressures being associated with unfavorable outcomes. The nadir for blood pressure varies between studies, ranging from 120 to 185 millimeter mercury of systolic blood pressure, but mostly around 150 to 160 millimeter mercury. Clinical trials differ in the recruitment of study participants, including the time window after stroke or the use of arterial mechanical thermectomy. Major trials including the CADIS trial, the Enchanted trial, the MAPAS trial, and the BP target trial found no significant differences in outcome measures among the compared groups. However, the rate of intracerebral bleed was higher in the blood pressure group of 180 to 200 millimeter mercury in the MAPAS trial. As per society guidelines, in patients with acute ischemic stroke with blood pressure of less than 220 over 110 millimeter mercury and have not undergone intravenous thrombolysis or mechanical thermectomy, the routine use of blood pressure lowering agents in the first 24 hours following symptom onset is not recommended. If blood pressure is above 220 over 110 millimeter mercury, a reduction of approximately 15%, but no more than 25% over the first 24 hours is suggested, with gradual reduction thereafter to reach long-term secondary stroke prevention targets as per the 2018 Canadian Guidelines. According to the 2018 American Heart Association and the American Stroke Association Guidelines, patients with ischemic stroke and elevated blood pressure who are eligible for treatment with intravenous alteplase should maintain a systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure below 185 over 110 millimeter mercury before receiving fibrinolytic therapy. The 2018 Canadian guidelines also recommend a pretreatment blood pressure target of less than 185 over 110 millimeter mercury for alteplase therapy, as well as a post-treatment target of less than 180 over 105 millimeter mercury for the following 24 hours. For patients undergoing arterial mechanical thermectomy without prior intravenous thrombolytic therapy, it is reasonable to maintain a blood pressure of less than 180 over 105 millimeter mercury before and after the procedure. Thank you for watching. For more educational resources, 
please visit www.ikereach.com.